In this video, we're going to be looking at the ASP.NET login status control. Uh, the login status control is a very simple control. Uh, all it does is display a link which is different depending on whether the user is logged in or logged out. If a user is logged in, then it displays a logout link and vice versa. There are few properties that it can uh, be set. You can set the logout action. Uh, which is used to specify what happened when the user clicks on the logout link. So the three options you have when your user links, clicks on the logout link is you can redirect the user to a different page, you can redirect the user to the login page, or you can just refresh the page. If you set it to redirect, uh, then you must set another property, which is the logout page URL, which a user is to redirect it to after logging out of the website. So the login status control is a simple control. So if you put it on a page, it displays a login link if the user is logged out and displays a logout link if the user is logged in. So let's take a look at it. So this is um, our master page. Remember, it's always a good idea to add everything to your master page. So this is our master page. We're going to drag a, uh, let's go to login. And we need to drag the login status so put it there so as you see the the logged out view so when somebody is logged out they will see the login link and when they are logged in they can see the logout link so we can also modify those properties so let's modify some properties so you can see that the login text say login so we can change it to uh, something very simple we can say uh, click yeah to login okay and uh, that's going to be for logout view so when the user is logged in we want to change this to uh, so the logout text will be click to logout click yeah to logout so we can also set the Okay, let's look for the the logout action. So we want the logout action to, if you log out, you can just refresh the page. So for example, somebody is viewing a page and when they click on logout, you can just refresh the page where uh, the current page where the user is, or you can redirect them to a different page. And uh, once you set, you have to set out the logout page URL as well. So the logout page URL, let's look direct them back to login when they log out so yeah, the properties for this one are redirect refresh or redirect to login page so we can just simply click on redirect to login page without setting out a logout uh, logout page URL or you can just redirect them to home page yeah, that would be the best way to do it redirect to a login page If we set on redirect, we have to set the redirect uh, logout page URL. If we set the redirect, otherwise, if we set it to redirect to login page, it's not. It's going to take precedence over the logout page URL. So let's leave it to redirect, and now let's see what our website looks like now. So let's go to any page. So let's view any page in the browser. So view in browser. I want to save changes. Yes, I want to save changes. We can go to any page. We can go to the home page. We're still going to see this link to, that's asking us to log in. So this is the home page. Let's go to the student sub page two. Now we're in student sub page two, and we can still see the click it to log in. We can see this one at the top. We can use this to log in straight away, or we can just click this to go to our login page. So now we're on the login page admin, and that will be password two dollar sign so login so as soon as we log in it redirects us back to the page where we came from so now the ch tech link has click uh, changed to click here to log out so if we click on log out it should redirect us back to the home page you see it's already redirected us back to the home page so this is how you use the the login status control and all these properties uh, in the next video we're going to be talking about other properties uh, other uh, login
controls. Thank you.